everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. I am so thankful you took the time and wanted to quilt with me. We are making a mystery quilt and today is block number three. I am so excited for you. Did you ever made a nine patch? Oh, you did. I am so glad. Yesterday and the day before, we play with four patches. Today, I have a really cute variation of a nine patch for you. And you look like you're ready, sit, go for the little challenge. Look at the fabric that I have picked for us. I did three blues and two lights. If you're just joining us in, make sure you visit my blog for the recipes for cutting. So you need a blog. The recipes are right there. You can cut your fabric and prepare your fabric. I'm using a beautiful blue sky collection. I'm using Aurifil thread, Microtex needle, and I'm ready, set, go. Oh, I am so excited for today. So this is the fabric that I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna be making block A, B, and C. Those are the three color option. All the informations are on our blog, like I said, so that way you can look at it and match it up with what I'm doing. Or choose your own fabric and make the most beautiful quilt. I can guarantee you're gonna have fun no matter what. So let's start it. I have cut a little square for my center. And yes, then I cut a smaller square for my corner. This is a variation of a nine patch because you have one, two, three by one, two, three patches that makes nine patches together. And look at this cute little light that I brought it right here. This is gonna be perfect. This is the block that we're going to be making. I'm gonna start by sewing my pieces into three rows. Just by placing the blue over the light, sew it right here, then here, sew it, then go ahead and move to the middle row. Sew this to this and this to this, just like this, and go ahead and finish with the last row right down here. So and so, and I have prepared those already for you. So I have the top row, bottom row, and the middle row. I'm gonna be pushing my seam allowance towards the blue. Do you see it? I pushed it towards the blue, really nice, towards the blue. Then I'm gonna go ahead, place the pieces right sides together. I'm gonna lock the seam right here. I love using my patchwork pins, and I'm gonna pin it right on the seam just like this because I want the seams to lock really really nice so I wrap it with my finger lock the seams really nice all right perfect I'm gonna start stitching from the top straight down then go ahead and do the same thing on this side look I already done it for you and look at this gently I'm gonna open up the corners right there do you see what I just did I just open it up like this. Oh, look at this. You're gonna give me a really nice, beautiful transition point right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Open it up and open it up. And my block is ready to be pressed. And you can go ahead, press it with an iron, or maybe you like a little tool like this. This is my little handy pressing tool. And I'm gonna make sure i push all the seam allowances and i have made one of those you're gonna make four of block a four of those then you're gonna make four b and four c look at all of the beautiful blocks so make sure you join my blog visit for the measurements cut your beautiful fabric and get to work because mystery quilt is coming up we just finished block number three and i can't wait to see you tomorrow for block number four and don't forget by now you already should know it you grab your ruler and trim your blocks to a perfect four and a half by four and a half i hope to see you tomorrow happy quilting <music>